Hi, Mike Burns here. I'm here to show you how to create an interactive help menu for your users in Articulate Storyline in less than five minutes. As we can see here, a click gets you a help menu or an FAQ list where the user can branch to different content based on the questions or statements that they click. We're going to use the slide master feature. So before uh, continuing, you should have a basic working knowledge of how to create objects use layers and triggers to show those layers. So here's our starter file here. We have some basic slide content. And just to show that you can use this for, uh, use the help menu on any slide or layer, we have a simple layer built in. So when you're setting up your layers, as a side note, you want to make sure that you have a specific property unchecked in the layer properties. You want the hide other slide layers to be unchecked because that could end up hiding your menu, which you don't want. So now let's build it out by going to View, Slide Master, select our basic layout. I've titled it Help Menu just so that it's easy to access. And let's build our objects here. You can use whatever object you like. I use the uh, built-in marker just because it has a nice little question mark, very accessible but we're not going to use this box. So I'm actually going to make that invisible by using no fill and no border for the uh, marker itself. Uh, now let's add our menu as a layer. Again, unchecking that option for hide other slide layers. And a trigger to show that layer when the user clicks this icon. So now the user will click this icon, show the menu layer. Uh, we just need to decide what it looks like. So let's add a simple shape here. Again, format it however you prefer. And let's just say our help menu text goes here. And let's give the user three different options that they can click on. So now let's uh, basically uh, just add a few other layers. Um, let's make sure that they have three different layers they can access by clicking those options. Easiest way to get them there from our menu screen is to add a hotspot over each piece of text. And once those are built, we're going to say show layer one, two, or three, based off which hotspot they click. And from here, it's just formatting what the uh, branched layers look like. So we're going to say option text full for each one. And we can even make it look a little visually different so that it's obvious they're getting something different when they click those options. And option three. So um, the only final thing is we don't want a bunch of layers stacked on top of each other when they're clicking because that could get very messy. So we're going to manually hide these layers at the right times. Hide. So let's say hide uh, each layer when they click any of the hotspots. And same thing for these other layers with this uh, option text. Let's say, let's hide this layer when the user clicks anywhere outside that text. And this will make sure that it's a little bit of a cleaner approach and less confusing for the user. So we should be good to go, but let's test ourselves out and see our product. So our main base slide here, let's click our menu and make sure that we can branch correctly to each different option. And remembering that you can format this however you'd like. Uh, now let's see if it works on a layer. Make sure that we're not hiding anything incorrectly. And there's your interactive help menu that you can access anywhere in your file. Uh, make sure to comment if you have any questions or shoot me an email at burns.trainingdesign at gmail.com.